Hi, YouTube. I'm building a CG tester tonight, and then I'm going to fix a problem I've got with my P47 um, 1.1 meter variation from Horizon Hobby. Just want to show you how I'm going to do it real quick. This is going to be a super easy project. I've got some scrap wood and lumber. That would be one option. And I think I'm going to do that just because it will be easy. Um, and then I'll make it large enough that I can use a clamp to hold it down. So um, obviously, you know, you need some different widths and things for different types of airplanes. Um, but currently, I'm just going to tape off my biggest plane. Yeah, my biggest plane is about five inches wide, so if I just make a few different holes, um, straddling the center five inches of 14 and a quarter inches wide, then that'll give me plenty of choices. So, like I said, this is 14 and, well, it's technically 14 and 3 16 wide. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, measure out and mark a few holes here. And uh, there's nothing magical about this. I'm just gonna find the center point, which would be, let's just call it 14 and an eighth, so it'd be uh, seven and a 16th. So there's the center point. And uh, we'll have that. So if we're seven and a 16th, we'll just go ahead and come out here and we'll do three, four, and five. And then over here, we'll do three, four, and five. So we got our three points and our three points and we're just gonna go ahead and drill a couple of holes. Um, these are just some pencils that the kids had lying around. Uh, you don't even have to dedicate these pencils to the project. You can um, give them back their pencils when you're done using this if you want, or you can just uh, keep them, and I'll probably go ahead and keep them. Just find a drill bit that's approximately the same size. Guys, this is uh, such a simple project. I was sort of toying with the idea of Yeah, okay, I'm going to get the hot glue going, and uh, we'll actually probably, well, we can't hot glue it, can we? Okay, so I found this particular drill bit, it's uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch, and I'm just going to see how it fits in the drill housing, and that ought to do just fine. So we'll go ahead and do that. I actually have a drill press that I could theoretically use for this. Um, but I never seem to actually use the drill press. So, at any rate, I'm just gonna grab a couple chunks of lumber here to lift it up off the table. Um, I should probably go ahead and measure off the center of this. So this is uh, three and five sixteenths. So we're not gonna be nearly that picky with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ballpark it. obviously a 2 by 4 so let's go there, 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 okay. And then I'll take a square and I'll just run a line down the middle. Um, you guys that work with, uh, work with tools all day, probably laughing at home thinking, geez, it's taking you forever to do this. Yeah. We'll tighten the square there. Yeah, that's not square. This end wasn't cut square. This end is close enough. So I'll just go ahead and use this end as my reference. Forget it, I'm just gonna use my marks. Because this was not cut square, which is fine. It doesn't need to be square. It's just a piece of scrap lumber I had lying around. Okay board underneath each, each end so you can get the drill bit all the way through and you may actually not want to you may not even want to go all the way through okay let's see if that's deep enough to keep that vertical eh, I might need a little bit more yet okay I'm gonna get the drill press yeah, I have a drill press. The problem I have with the drill press is that you have to set the stupid drill press up every time you want to do something. So, even if I had the drill press out, 
I always seem to have trouble convincing myself to use it. So, but anyway, we'll just go ahead and uh, just get this set and get on with it so that we can make nice holes and we don't have to work hard. And uh, this should make it a little easier. Look, I'm going to put these things on. I like being able to see. think that play is going to be a huge issue but uh, I guess we will find out that is amazing quality workmanship problem is I need to go all the way through probably or most of the way through. And maybe I'll go a little bit lower. Yeah, that should be about right. clean up. Yay, it's clean everybody. Okay, so we'll just see how that works there. And uh, looks like they're lined up pretty good. I mean, if these things move just a, a little bit, it's probably not that big of a deal. As long as once you get that plane stuck onto those erasers, it should kind of hold it steady. But the idea is you want to make this at least heavy enough so it doesn't tip over real easy. Uh, so you can put your plane on there and know it's not going to fall over. So I think we're good with that. So I'm going to get these tools put away. I'll show you how it works with the plane. Alright guys, here's the center of gravity tester. Um, I got my manual for the P47 Thunderbolt. And it says that the leading edge is 60 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing root. So... First thing you got to do when you get ready to test CG is make sure you got your appropriate lipo that you want to use. In my case, I've been using 60C 2200 milliamp 3S batteries. They don't need to be plugged in, they just need to be inserted into the uh, battery tray or whatever it is you use to hold the batteries. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip this in here. Um, I have a master plan for this project. Make sure you replace the canopy, and then what you can do is you can go ahead and bring this over, and uh, what you're going to notice immediately is that my center gravity is going to be a little bit tricky to test, because 60 millimeters back from the leading edge appears to be in the landing gear. So some people will just do the plane upside down, um, which might be a little bit easier on this. So we'll just, uh, what we'll do is rather than measuring to a certain point, we will go ahead and just move the plane until the center of gravity seems to be figured out. And then we'll measure where it was hitting. Okay, so now that's really close. Okay, so that's where, that's where the plane it's balancing out. So what I'm going to do is I'll lower this camera and give you guys a better vantage point of that. Okay, and I'm going to actually lower it even still a little bit more than that. And you can see it's balancing out nicely. So now all I got to do is 
take and kind of make a mark somehow or remember where it is. I'm going to take my middle finger here and just touch where it was touching. Raise it up. So it looks like we're right here. So there's this little box. So I'll just measure that right now. So we can just kind of put that out of the way for now. We'll take our go to 60 millimeters and we'll just see how far off that is and ironically enough we are virtually exactly on at 60 millimeters and uh, you can see right there it's at 60 the problem is with this plane guys is that this plane still feels tail heavy to me so they're saying that they're saying that it is so they're saying that uh, if we're supposed to be 60 millimeters back this is basically center of gravity out just just fine well if you fly this plane it doesn't fly very um, I don't feel like the center of gravity should be back that far I feel like it should be back a little bit further I feel like this thing flies tail heavy all the time so what I'm gonna do is if you can just look inside this cowling with me you can see where the end of that battery is you see this it looks like a zero there that's actually uh, yeah that's a zero from 60 and uh, according to the 60 C and there's a brace that goes vertically so now I'm gonna go ahead and take that out so that'll be the next video so just wanted to show you now you know how to make this little CG tester super easy one thing you may have to do is uh, get some longer pencils and uh, of course you can change different positions depending on the width of your wing or if you have a retract that's in the way and uh, just a conventional pencil and just make sure they have a good eraser and you're good to go quick little 10 minute project and uh, that's including screwing around with the plane to show you how it works thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe